In this training, I will give you an overview of chart preparation tabs in Risk Manageable Template Software. This overview is applicable to all chart preparation tabs. In the Home tab, there is no links for these tabs. You need to go to the Options tab to show or hide chart preparation tabs. For more information on how to show or hide tabs for automation, please refer to the relevant training. All chart preparation tabs are similar. As an example of all chart preparation tabs, let's give a look at Risk Charts Preparation tab. In Charts Preparation tabs, you can simply change any cell and see the change immediately applied on the Matching Charts tab. This way, you can rapidly customize a group of charts without having to individually change the series, axis levels, or legends on all those charts. For example, information from the Risk Charts Preparation tab is used in the Risk Charts tab. In each Charts Preparation tab, there are several tables. Each table refers to a group of charts in the Matching Charts tab. Each table has a title. In this cell, you type the title for the group of charts. For example, the title Acceptable Risk Likelihood is the title of a group of charts in the Risk Charts tab. Each table has a column named Chart Data Range Axis Label. In these cells, you can type the axis levels that appear in all the charts of the group of charts. For example, Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, Level 4, Level 5 appear as the axis level in the relevant group of charts in the Risk Charts tab. Please note that in all charts preparation tabs, by default, some titles and some axis levels may contain a simple formula. Those formulas can be seen in the formula bar or in cells by pressing F2 on your keyboard. These formulas are used to further integrate the overall configuration of the RISC application with names defined in Parameters tabs. Each table has two other columns, which are already set up to work conjunctly with other tabs to automatically select the number of RISC IDs which must be included when drawing the charts. In other words, everything is fully integrated and automated and you should not change those columns. It is highly recommended to keep the default settings until you become reasonably familiar with this risk management tool. Et voilà! For more information, please visit manageenable.com. Thank you!